Welcome, fans and collectors. This is Marvel and DC 379 with another review, and today we'll be looking at Funko Pop Silk. And this is a Walgreens exclusive. However, I did buy her online, but it doesn't hurt to check around Walgreens. So let's take a look. It says pop right there in the speech bubble. Marvel, this is number 333 in the series. Here's the figure herself. That really cool art. The Walgreens exclusive sticker. Silk, her name, bobblehead, and in other languages. Warning, choking hazard. Here's the side right here. And I really do like this shot of her. Here's her name across and the number again. Here's the top, the bottom. And here's the other available figures. In this wave, I already reviewed Spider-Gwen. I really want Doctor Strange and Doctor Octopus. That's the comic version of Captain Marvel. There's Gwenpool. Collect them all. Okay, so that's about it. Let's get into the figure. And here's Silk out of her packaging. Now let's get this out of the way. Silk is in the costume that everybody's familiar with. There's two variants. One with the gray colors and one with the white colors. Personally, I've always liked the white. But I don't mind the gray and this is the gray version. And the paint apps are just nice. There's just some spots that are fuzzy. Like, there's bits of gray paint on her leg, but it's not a major deal. But I do love the web details on her chest, especially where it's red and has the S symbol. Let's take a look at the back. And let's take a look at her head sculpt. I do like it. The mask is actually molded on and it's painted. So that's nice, and there's bits of creases around the mouth area. It's a little fuzzy around this edge. There's bits of red paint, but it's not that bad. But I definitely like the hair on this head sculpt. The way it's sculpted and really detailed, I really do dig that. Her only accessory she comes with is this clear stand because she has the smaller type body. So it has a peg, and she has a peg hole under her feet. So that's about it. And I'm going to get into comparisons now. And here is Silk with her Marvel Legends counterpart, and they look absolutely fantastic together. And I did notice something. Funko Pop's Silk, her left hand is open-palmed, while her right hand is in a fist position. The Marvel Legends left hand is open palmed while the right hand is in a fist position. Who knows, maybe it's coincidence, maybe the Funko Pop Silk took inspiration from Marvel Legends Silk. Either way, it's just something I wanted to point out and thought was pretty cool. So my final thoughts, she's a fun pop, I love the colors, I love the paint, it's just that some spots are a little fuzzy, not exactly clean. I especially love the hair sculpt on her head. So would I recommend her? If you're a big Silk fan like I am, or a big Spider-Man fan like I am, or just love Funko Pops, then yes, she's definitely worth a pickup. But another major disadvantage is that she's a Walgreens exclusive, and there may not be Walgreens local to everybody, so Unless you buy online, and I did buy this one online, but if you do see her at a Walgreens, then I don't see why not. Just pick her up. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next. So until then, excelsior, true believers.